It was a long way from Broadway and the Sound of Music to the motion picture Midnight Cowboy and an Oscar nomination for Best Actor of the Year, then into Deliverance, and finally to perhaps one of the most gentle, sensitive, and important films I think I've seen in many years. It's with a great deal of pleasure that I meet John Voigt today. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> well, with that introduction, I'm in already intimidated by myself. <clears throat> that, that's quite a spot to be at. John, and I do mean this sincerely, Conrack, your most recent motion picture, I think is something that every child in every school and classroom across the whole country should see because it's about love and touching and caring and feeling. And it's the most wonderful thing I've seen in a long time. You must be very proud of it. I, I like it quite a lot, yeah. I don't want to... I'm, I'm humble. Now I'm in my humble. Now, now, now this is the, the humble John This is John the humble Voight. me, yeah. This is not the John Voight we saw in Midnight Cowboy, <clears throat> however. No, it isn't. There's an interesting um, twist with Midnight Cowboy because when you were doing um, A View from the Bridge, Dustin Hoffman was the co-director at that it, time, it, and four years later you made Midnight Cowboy together. And of course, you didn't know that at the time. No, he was the assistant to the, the director, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, although he did actually... Uh, direct some scenes by himself, but he was a very good friend of Ulu's, and then Ulu wanted him to be around because he had a great respect for Dusty. But he wound up, uh, during the run, preparing uh, the understudies to come on, and several of the, the uh, understudies were the girls who replaced the, uh, the lead, who was in that, at that time Susan Anspach. And every time a girl came on, and she was unprepared for the role. I knew what had happened with Dusty in the rehearsal period. And I used to go back in the card game where he was playing cards, and I used to grab him, and I'd say, will you go out there and look what you did? And that was our introduction. That was our relationship prior to Midnight Cowboy. You know, you mentioned Susan Ansbach, and we had the chance to interview her uh, in Cannes, France, uh, for her motion picture, Bloom in Love. Mm -hmm. I found her to be a very sensitive, warm lady. And you are very much a person like that. I, I'm assuming your working relationship might have been a pleasant one. Yes, it was. As a matter of fact, you saw me last year at, at Streetcar Named Desire, and we talked about View from the Bridge and getting it together again with Bobby Duvall and mm -hmm. some of the other people involved. You know, when, when we saw Midnight Cowboy, and certainly there can't be more than three people in the audience who didn't, and uh, Deliverance, which, of course, was a success. It never occurred to me that that innocent-looking cherubic face with the blue eyes sang on Broadway. Now, that's a side of John Voight I didn't know about till I read one of your biographies. But the thing about it that you don't understand, though, and the very most important thing about it is that I sang badly on Broadway, which they don't say in the Come in the on, biography. nobody I on swear. Broadway can sing badly. <laughs> you, no, you, that's a that's a fallacy. I'm you telling you, the there German are people soldier, on Broadway who cannot act and they cannot sing. They simply are hanging around theaters and they get jobs. The reason why I got the job <laughs> in Sound of Music, I swear to you, was because 50 people who looked like me sang 16 going on 17 very well. And they didn't, couldn't make a decision. And I came in, I sang it very badly, and they hired me. I don't believe you. I want to do a chorus? Call Richard Rogers. Who's got I, a telephone? I, we don't have a phone. Do a chorus. No, I, I can't. I absolutely cannot sing. You know, I have this scene in Conrack where I have to sing. You were on the road with Camelot, too. Did you hear me sing in Conrack? The lights just... If that seemed... That abrupt stop was because, as we were talking about your singing, the lights came down around us and fell off the wall That's here in Chicago. That's what will happen and if you continue to ask me about my singing. This is just a warning to you. Nancy, you sing in Conrack. God. You sing in Conrack. The only reason I sang in Conrack, I agreed to sing in Conrack, is because immediately after I sing, one of the kids looks at me and says, Conrack, man, you sing like a frog. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I can sing like a frog. <laughs> I can sing enough to establish that line. And, uh, and I was very nervous singing Conrack. And every time we'd come to rehearsals, I'd get to the, we'd have had five days of rehearsals with the children. They all knew their lines and I was trying to get up on them. And I'd come to the point where I had to sing and I'd say, well, now I sing this song. And then one, one of the kids said, you, you, you're shy about singing, aren't you, John? I said, yes, I am. And he said, uh, I had a cousin once that was shy about singing. One he included of the me in his did. family, yeah. I had a cousin, it's okay. It's okay, John. I had a cousin once that was shy about singing. You know, John, for those who haven't seen Conrack yet, it is, if you'll allow me, 
uh, it's a love story between you, a Southerner, a white teacher, who goes and a to military teach, school product. A military mm -hmm. school product who goes to teach an all-black school of five, fifth through eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Is it important that you are white and they are black, or is that just incidental in the story well, of Conrad? I, I think it's. I, I I don't think it's important. I mean, maybe some people will. I mean, it's nice that. Uh, to, to a certain group, to certain people, they, it's nice to see people of different cultures and races getting together and having a good time. To that degree, it's important, I suppose. But they're just uh, children. It happens to be the situation from the book that these children happen to be on an island off the coast of South Carolina, and they happen to have been black. It's a true story. From the book, yeah. The Water is Why. Yeah, which I think a lot of, that book. You are recently a father. And I understand. Why are you laughing? <laughs> only because Marty Ritt, uh, the director of Conrad, did he had, describe my child? Uh, no, he didn't describe your child. He described you as perhaps one of the most doting fathers he had ever encountered. Why is your child already as tall as you, or something? <laughs> no, uh, Mar Marty. Uh, Marty gave my. Uh, for those of you who don't know Marty, Marty only has he has jump, he wears jumpsuits, and he always looks like he has the same jumpsuit on from the, year, the time you saw him two years ago. <laughs> yeah. He gave my, so my child his first jumpsuit. <laughs> no, yeah. little James. Little Jamie. Is Jamie going to be an actor? I think at the moment he looks like he's, he's 11 months old. He's, it looks like he's going to be a prize fighter, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how long this uh, tendency will continue. He's a tough kid. You have indicated that he's not a tough kid. Right? <laughs> tough like all 11 month old kids, you know. Suddenly, father didn't the, like what he said about Five o'clock in the morning, they're very he's tough, stuck. you know. Um, you have indicated that you're particular about uh, scripts, about choosing things that are right. So what's in the future for John? I don't make a big. Uh, yeah, I don't make a big thing out of it. Just that I don't work that much, and people conclude that I must be very choosy. <laughs> in fact, it's true though. I, I do have things offered to me that I do turn down. You know. <laughs> But, uh, We're seeing the humble John Voight again, Yeah, right? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm having a battle now with all the John Voights. Uh. <laughs> I see you shuffling your feet in yeah. the sand. You're saying, oh, shucks, oh, come boy. on. Oh, yeah. boy. Listen, it has to be a thrill I, for any actor to be nominated for Best Actor of the Year. Does it have to be? Were. Well, do, I, I, I'm assuming it might be. Was it for you? Yeah, actually, it, 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 it was nice. It was very nice, but I think that uh, I... It was so nice that I didn't win it too. I, I mean, I, really? I was really frightened that I was going to win it because I mean, it's a funny experience because I really don't think there's something uh, there's something nice about it. There's something silly about it too. Uh, I think it's an, it's not the right kind of encouragement. I don't think. I don't think you give little stars to people to encourage them. You know, and uh, and I also don't think you create competition like that. Uh, if you're, I don't think that I would like to create that kind of competition within a family of mine. And so I, I don't want to be thrown into competition with other actors, you know, because we all have to work together. And if you notice in the movie, if those kids didn't like me, I would have been, that would have been it. Because we, in every performance, you are reacting to someone. And if someone is not giving you something, you don't have enough to, to fulfill your own uh, needs in a scene. So we need to cooperate with each other in creating this, uh, Competition sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes separates us. It's nice to meet the people who I uh, who I am in the business with. They're all terrific people, and we've all had a good time together. And it uh, and I consider them my friends, so that it, it takes a little of the of the complication out of that situation. But it's not so good, I think. The motion picture Conrack is not going to have any competition. It's beautiful. John Voight is fantastic. The story is and Nancy, important. Nancy, you're wonderful. Do yourself the favor of seeing it. Thank you. Thank I feel you, I've Nancy. made a friend today, John Boyd. Nice Thank to you, see you. Thank you, Nancy. Stay with us. We'll be back.